start setting up the workshop and stockpile areas and stuff like that, so... Um, Probably makes more sense to use a lot of choke points and stuff like that. It's kind of construction. But I'm gonna have all my workshops just sitting up in this direction. I probably should just go ahead and make the doors so I can lock them. Need to have something inside of the front here because there's absolutely nothing preventing. Anything is walking right in the front of my fucking fortress. <laughs> yes! Mechanic Workshop has been constructed. A. T. <gasps> I don't know how many mechanisms I'm gonna need, but hey, I got a fucking fountain. I got a well now. Huh. No, I don't remember it being this easy. I remember, like, if I didn't have a mechanism, it meant that everyone was gonna die as soon as winter started. Isn't it weird how all these fireflies are still dead? All the cat, the cats killed, it's massacred fireflies. I want to see like a, a, a firefly remains. I want to see the description. This is a f okay. This is a uh, firefly remains. Okay, so there's not a lot of detail here. Uh, one of my dwarves picked up a barrel and is carrying the barrel. I don't know if there's any way I can like understand this, but he picked the barrel up. I don't know how to see details on it, but he's carrying. He carried the barrel all the way to the water. He's filling the barrels up with water, and then he's brought it all the way back. Really? I didn't know they did that. This game is that detailed. They automatically pick barrels up and fill them up with water and then bring them back to the... It's fucking crazy. Well, I almost got all the doors constructed. So, um, my livestock is like hanging out in my meeting area. So I think what I want to do outside but I don't know so I guess I'm gonna make like a pasture out here so that they have a little bit of roaming space and also probably be the first ones to die if something attacks okay so make this a Thank you. 
Uh, so one of the other things that's really important in this game is you gotta build like a, a massive storage area to store all of the possible junk that you have throughout the game. You accumulate a huge amount of shit, so I gotta go down uh, the stairway. It's like a massive area, big as possible, not connected to the well. Hopefully, uh, structural integrity is not an issue. And I remember there being like something about that before. Like you make a giant space, <laughs> it can collapse because <laughs> there weren't any supports. I don't know if that's true. Might actually be something that could happen. I guess we're gonna find out. Awesome. I'm building a well. Bam! Pow! <laughs> if the dwarfs can drink, they live with Linda. I doubt it. And unfortunately, one of the other things that you have to build are coffins. Lots of them. Well, actually, I mean, I don't have that many dwarves. So it'd be like. A. Or. Or. A. Coffin. Coffin. E A P A P A P okay. Uh, if that many coffins need to get it, then I got bigger problems. But it'll happen, probably. So far. So they like dig in this really weird way. There's a lot of fish in the water. Let's bring in the fish in. Actually, my original stockpile here. Large roach remains? Ew. Do you like rhino lizard remains? It's gross. What the hell's going on with that? Let's see. Enormous wooden core, spiked ball, traps, minecart, construction with splint, crutch. No more armor stand. Painting spear. What a mess. No attempt to build a bridge. So it's G. What? W. All oh, that changes the direction that the that the. Okay. Now there are some 
reasons why this is a bad idea to do it this way, but uh, if anything starts to come towards us, I can like, close that at least. But then it'll end up crushing everybody and dying. Mm. I'm gonna try and get a trade depot in here. I don't know what to do about my starving animals. They're supposed to be like. I don't know what the hell, man. They're just getting hungrier and hungrier. I don't get it. The dogs don't starve, though, but my water buffalo and my horse are fucked. What to do about that? Man, that's so many settings. Right. The dog. Uh, there's a chain or a restraint on the ground there. I think I need to do something. At least put in a water buffalo out here. I don't know. This will probably end up being an epic mistake in the future, but. I mean, if there's nothing like guarding the or once shit does start to hit the fan, um, you quickly realize how defenseless everybody is. So if I chain at least a dog near sort of the entrance. What's going on with him? Oh, he's just taking a break. <laughs> they do that. They they chill out. Let's try. I'm assigning one of the stray dogs to the chain here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assign the water buffalo. I mean, this is probably dumb, but that'll at least get him outside. Because right now they're just starving to death, and he doesn't have a chance to graze at all. And hopefully, somebody will actually do it. I know the water buffalo isn't gonna just come out there on its own. They're like starving to death. I wonder if any of my dwarves are actually trained to be animal trainers or do anything. Okay. Other jobs. Home. Hunting related, maybe. Animal care. Animal training. Hunting. Grabbing, why not? Fuck it. Small animal dissection. Oh boy, some migrants have arrived from a mountain to the north. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Shit. What am I gonna do? If they're gonna all gonna, they all just sort of rush towards the fort too. It's so unfucking. He yeah, has tree over there. I should cut. Damn, that tree's huge. That's a fucking huge tree. Nope. Oh, what is this? It's roots. It's all roots. Man, this tree is fucking ginormous. Awesome to cut that down. Uh, well. Obviously, I'm gonna need one of these bastards to be another fucking. Minor. 